All right, everybody, Adam Klepp here. Uh, I'm in Chicago now following up on what happens to migrants after they've crossed the border across the U.S. border. Michael is from Costa Rica. Yeah. And you crossed the border in Texas, right? In Texas. What was that experience like going across the Rio Grande? Um, the experience is so bad. Literally, uh, uh, it's bad. It's so tired. The cartel, the police, the immigration, the process, I think the, right now it's not good. But it is what it is. It's the American dream. How many how many days ago did you cross the border? Uh, I took the, the six days. Six days ago. Yeah. And so now you're already in Chicago. Chicago. And you've been staying on a bus multiple nights. Yeah, I was sleeping on the bus. But I took the six or four days. And everybody sitting right here. They're sleeping on the two or one month right here. So it's not good. So people have been sleeping on the buses here on the street yeah. for months. Yeah, for real. This was just every day and all the sleep right here. And there's so many people right now. And just lastly, is this what you thought it would be like in America? No, no, never in the life, never in the life, bro. I think this America this is a good plan for you now, but I don't expect it right here. You know, I see this, um, this, this is no reality, you know. And you thought that you'd be able to come here, work, get a place to live, and yeah. just start a new life? But that's not how it started off. Uh -uh. But yeah. do you feel like this is still better than what you left? Um, I think, uh, yeah. yeah but Time will tell, probably, right? Yeah, but this, yeah. this is not good, bro. This process, everything, it's not good, for real, for real. All right, thank you, Michael. Yeah. Uh, I'll be in Chicago and also uh, other cities in the Midwest just tracking again what happens to migrants once they have entered the U.S. and are trying to stay here and make a new life.